So what is up guys, I'll sneak right here and today I'm bringing you a quick little video on uh, how to use uh, Angelus acrylic, wait, yeah, Angelus uh, acrylic finisher mat and how you apply it to your shoes and all that stuff. So if you don't know the, the mat, it, uh, I'm trying to get it to focus. The mat just basically uh, doles the paint down. I want to focus, but yeah. So I already this. I'm done with repainting the shoes. Uh, that shoe is the left shoe, and I have the right shoe right here. But this already has the uh, finisher on it. I'll show you the quick of how the repaint came out. I repainted the whole midsole. Uh, there is a video coming out on these. Uh, just showing the before and after with some music in the background. So it might be a quick video, but uh, let's get into how you use this. So you always want to shake it up before you before you use it. Open it, and uh, you can apply. I apply this with uh, the brush, or a brush, whatever brush you have. I think you can do it with the sponge as well. It says. Um. Yeah, use a sponge or a rag to apply. And uh, so yeah, uh, I recommend working in a ventilated area because this does kind of stink. But uh, what you do is you dip your your brush or your rag, or whatever you're using, into the thing, and then you uh, apply evenly, just like if you were painting. And like I said, what it does is it mats it down, but it also makes it to where the paint won't crack as. Uh, It'll make the paint last longer, and it will also um, make it sort of like flexible. So like when you get cracks right here, that'll, that'll kind of like prevent it. It won't prevent it completely, but it'll stop it from happening sooner. So just apply evenly, just exactly like you were, you were painting. I would recommend doing it in the same strokes, like in the same like direction. Make sure you get it everywhere. So you want every every single uh, spot that you painted. Uh, make sure that it's safe and has it on there. I did actually record me repainting the white and the blue, but I lost some footage, so I decided not to uh, make the video. Sadly, I wish I did because uh, it would have been a nice tutorial on how to. How to paint and prep your shoe and all that stuff. Like I went through how to uh, strip, how to prep, uh, clean, and all that stuff. But uh, I happened to lose footage, so there's no video on that yet. But yeah, you just keep doing this through the entire shoe. Every every world that you painted, make sure you spread it out even evenly. You don't just stuff there and you won't see it working on the, like right away you'll, you'll have to wait till it dries and you notice that it's uh, matted down but yeah be expecting that video is before and after I don't believe it's gonna be too long I think like, the first part is a few minutes like it's not even I think it's like a minute long But it's gonna look like it has a gloss to it when you first uh, add it. That's only because it's still in its liquid form. But once it starts drying up, it's gonna look, you know, it's gonna look good. And make sure before you do this, you clean your midsole. But make sure that you don't uh, have any like dirt particles or uh, stuff that that like that's on it, so it doesn't mess up your. Uh, Just make sure that it's clean because I don't, I don't really know how to, like, to explain it. I don't want to say to mess up because it's not really going to mess your brush up or anything. It's just like, uh, it's just for 
caution on this. Because it looks like it gets stuck when it dries. That the dirt just gets stuck there. And it, there's just black little dirt marks. Or like lint or whatever it is. It's on the, it's on the midsole. But uh, actually I don't... I didn't really like the way that this shoe came out. The midsole was partially damaged. So... Uh, it was hard to repaint, but uh, it still came out crispy. I mean, for 05, they look good. I think the next thing I'll have to do is decrease, and I might make a video on how to decrease. Uh, I've already cleaned. I gotta clean this one still. But that is it. I'm almost done applying the Angelus acrylic finisher matte. They have matte, high gloss, uh, regu regular, and uh, I forget what, what the other one. So it's regular, matte, and uh, high gloss. I feel like there's another one that I'm missing. But they have all those on their site. I think I paid like $2 for this, I believe. I don't remember. But I bought it from their store online. As well as this brush. Th these brushes are really good. I recommend it for uh, repainting. But there you go. It's applied all around the shoe. That is all you do. Then you wait for it to dry. Um, that's basically it. So it's been South the Sneakerhead, guys. Hope you enjoy. And real quick before I end it, uh, make sure to wash your brush and close your thing. Make sure just to wash your brush just to get everything off. But yeah, guys, it's been South the Sneakerhead. Hope you guys enjoy be expecting the before and after on these and if I, I might actually do a decreasing video on these because the creases they're they're like that like on the other shoe I already have it stuffed up but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video hope this helped uh, make sure to leave it on the bottom don't leave it laying on the side because you want to let it to uh, dry not be dried off like by the shirt so make just leave it in a place where it's gonna dry um, but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped. Go follow me on my Instagram if you're not already, at Um Hope y'all enjoy. See you in the next video. Peace.